Hey there, gang. We are at Glen Oak Cemetery here in Hillside, Illinois. We've been here before. Right down the street from Mount Carmel, Queen of Heaven. And this mausoleum, I've, I've I scouted out for all of five minutes about six months ago. And the reason I only scouted it out for five minutes, I was really, really creeped out in there. There's something gave me a bad feeling. And I just checked and the door, the side door is open. I don't think anybody goes in here, hardly at all. And last week, Blake McClure, one of our viewers, friends, hey Blake, shout out. He sent me an email and he said, hey Ron, do you ever get creeped out, you know, going to any of these places? Do you ever get a really bad feeling? And I said, I wrote him back. I said, yeah, there, well, the Sears crypt, we talked about Richard Warren Sears and the mausoleum at Rose Hill. But this was, this gave me the worst, worst feeling. So we're going to get our boots on here. We are going <laughs> to, we don't need boots, although the storm is coming, a big one should shoot it during the storm, right? I don't think we need to. We're gonna go in here right now and let's explore it together. I don't know what we're going to see or find, but it is open. And let's go. And there you go. All right, let's close the door. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow that open. It doesn't look like it closes all the way. All right. So here we are. Glen Oak. The Glen Oak Mausoleum. So again, on the other side, we have Oak Ridge, the big mausoleum. We did an episode there. I don't know if you remember the crematoria where they let us in and we actually watched a cremation. Part of it through the little keyhole. I'll put the link in. But this is on the east side of the cemetery. And again, nobody, nobody really comes here. And I don't know. Yeah, I just don't get a good feeling in this place. I don't know why, but I'm anxious to explore it. You know, nothing bad here. Look at that fixture up there. I wonder what the, used to be a fixture maybe. Very plain, nothing fancy. got the stained glass, but nothing extraordinary. So let's see what we've got here. We're in the heart of the building now in the center. It's basically shaped like a crucifix in plan. I wonder if that was on purpose. Look at this. So there's some cream ends here, but what's weird is I already see it's like on wheels. And the reason I noticed that is because there's something going on behind it. What do you suppose? Let me get my flashlight out. What the heck? Why? This is really, really strange. Are those crypts back? Oh no, more cremains. jars. Almost looks like you were in clay pottery class. You made these. Hmm. I 
So nothing uncommon, your typical crypts. And definitely people are coming back here, I see. I mean, that's fairly recent. I guess as we say recent, recent might be in the last five years. Look at all these people, forgotten, right? It's an interesting picture of Lawrence Serini. Just have to wonder what were their lives like? What happened? The ups and downs. Oh, look at this. Dash crash, it says. It's a young man. So this has to be very recent. Yeah, 2019. Handsome young guy. I wonder what happened. Let's see, Loving Sun, so it's Timothy Earl Lomax, L-O-M-A-X, Jr. Duddy was his nickname. He was born 629-96, March 31st, 2019. Loving Sun, Father, Brother, forever doing the dash. You are always in our hearts, we love you. So doing the dash, he had to be a runner. Right, and uh, his mom, maybe, 2018, passed away. Wow. Now he is remembered. That's good. There's the prayer. That's it, the Lord's Prayer, right? Look at that light. It almost has some Shriner's connotations to it. See the star? Masons? Yeah. Pretty sure, guys. Interesting ceiling event that goes to the next floor. Look at that, it's totally open. Oh, the wind is blowing out there. The storm is coming. I gotta get out of here before this front hits. It's just a, maybe 20 miles out. Came from, coming from Iowa. All right, let's go. Let's keep exploring. What might we find? It does look like they do have lights. If we can find the light switches, we can turn those on. Here's some crypts. See if this is open. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bathroom. Okay. I thought these were, this looks like Rose Hill. Yeah, these big doors. Oh, look, upstairs. Let's go up. a real person it's not a real person guys it's life-size oh. it has to be a net right that's kind of frightening I mean when you walk by this if you walk by I mean I thought that was a real person that really threw me I don't like those windows shaking. I keep thinking there's somebody here. I hope nobody shows up. Okay. That gave me a little, a little startle, guys. Let's see what else. 
So here is the central room. Oh, there are some lights on. Look at that. There is power here. And five lonely chairs. This is the got to be the lift. Yeah, this is the lift that they, the caskets go on here. They hydraulically go up and put them in. Oh, so this is actually the main, the main entry, which is locked up front. Look at these doors. Wow. Solid bronze. Bernal R. Brustein. Might have been a sailor. Yeah, United States Navy passed in 2018. So again, that's also recent. Thank you for your service. He's here all by himself with this altar. Please do not tape anything to the crypt fronts. It's an old light, so that was probably typical. So let's keep looking. We'll take a quick scan here. Let's see if we see. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape. I mean, there's some water infiltration, but not bad considering. All marble, guys. Can you imagine? All marble. Looks like that's coming off. Yeah, this is where we were. Glow. Look at that. All right, don't see anything unusual here. It's a cherub. It's a, a mess. It's locked. I go in there and pick that stuff up, but it's locked. Yeah, I don't have a, I have an uneasy feeling in here. I have to say, it's not as bad as last time. But it is, I don't know. It's, I've been in a lot of mausoleums, guys. I've probably been to 2,000 cemeteries. So you gotta figure, I've been to probably 500 mausoleums. And for some reason, let's go. Did we go down here? I think we did, right? I'm not. Let's take a quick scan just to see if I'm looking to the side, if I miss anything. There's another young man. No, we did not go. Nathaniel Kinney passed in 1999. Oh, I see. Uh, this has got to be him, I, be I believe. Okay. All right, I think we've... I think we've covered it. Oh, that's what's behind the, that wood. It's a big air vent. I'm sure they have a big old oil burning system here. I don't like that sound, man. That, that's creeping me out. Isn't that interesting? Somebody wants me to leave. No, that is not 
sound dubbed in. That is, let's, let's get out of here. I'm getting that uneasy feeling I talked about just like last time, guys. Well, it's just the wind that's picking up. What's this? There's a room here. Looks like just storage. Oh, we got stairs. Should we? I don't know. We've got to go, guys. We've got to go. All right, don't know what we're getting into here. We're just gonna take it real slow. We got a wet floor, pockmarked. Oh, you know what? As was typical in some of these, ooh, sticky. There looks to be a crematorium here. So we'll have to Check that out. Yeah. Oh man, spooky. 1940s, huh? The old equipment. Something's running here. Something is running. What in the heck is going on? It's a lot to see here, guys. Oh, that is creepy. That is creepy. We'll come back and see that, but I'm just like... Okay. Who's the last man that sat in that chair, huh? system here. They have a new air handling system that is on. Old stuff, guys. Oh, it's like an old pit. Sump pit. Let's watch our stuff here. Ooh, look at that. What the heck, a big wheel? Oh my gosh, what do you suppose this is? This is where the, <laughs> the I was gonna say the bodies come down here, look at these big doors, but no, this is some type of repository for coal. I'm guessing this is where in the old days they dumped the coal and the coal would probably go into a bin. Oh, that's a big, big centrifugal fan is what this is. I gotta watch her step here. Look at the size of this centrifugal fan. And the ancient, look at those blades. All right, we, I believe we are on the back of the crematorium. Look at that alternator or generator. It says hollow. This floor is disgusting. Hey, we gotta check out every nook and cranny here. What do you suppose this is? All right, this is where we came in. Oh man, look at the size of this thing. Isn't this neat? So this is blowing into the back of the crematorium. Says. And 
creating the circuit circulating air. Oh, sorry about that. Light bulb. I don't know what's up there. I'm not gonna climb up there, guys. Nice try. Ain't gonna happen. Let's back out of here. Actually, let's take the easy way out. I wonder what those are. Oh, those are the things you put the for the planters. So let's look in here. Oh man, this is like a vampire movie. I don't know. Oh, you can read this. Uh, you can read this. Anybody that wants to look up this stuff. It says, uh, patented October 10th, 1918. There's a whole bunch of these doors. Oh, look, here's a manufacturer, Chicago, Illinois. There's some more information here. And this is the main door that fell off. Pull out only for direct draft. So let's look in here. This is what I really wanted to see with this door. You know, I hear something creaking upstairs. Let's get this done. I don't know what the heck this is. Like, look at this. What do you suppose? What do you suppose this is? I know it's the crematorium. Crematoria, crematorium. But I don't know, it's really, has a, oh, here's, here's the one next to it. Okay, so this is all broken down. If you look at the side of this, this is the other one, so there were two. So that's just the outside of the, oh yeah, yeah. It's like a ribbed interior, see that? See the ribbed interior, and this is the outside of the other one. And see where those bolts are, left and right, the bolt holes on the left? So that's where it's been taken apart, okay. I wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't wanna be in there, man. All right, I'm totally ready to get out of here. We feel like we've gotten away with it, but we are not out yet. So let's not count our chickens before they've hatched. Oh, that is creepy, man. Creepy city. Wasn't expecting that, guys. Can you imagine? You come here and just like I did at, you know, we did the episode at forest home in Milwaukee. So families in those days would come here with the body from the parlor. They'd bring it right down there and wait. Although I didn't see a waiting room. They probably waited up here in that, in that central area, right? So anyway, um, crazy. All right, I was glad to get this done. I'm out of here. I'm happy to be out of here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be safe, okay? Let's go. Ah, freedom. Freedom.